Coming up, Instructor James tells me to change my attitude. Recover. Nice. That's exactly what I was talking about on the last one. Yeah. I give my stick a waggle. Stop messing about with that stick. Sorry? Stop messing about with that stick. What was I laughing about? <laughs> and Lizzie reprimands me in German, Alan Partridge style. Achtung! Good dog! <laughs> Welcome to the Rory on Air Russell revalidation. <laughs> so is it exactly we're going? Up here. So there's Blackpool. Oh, okay. We're just going to go north of Blackpool. So we're going to go through the Wharton mats. Right. And then once we get beyond that, we'll then change to Russell Field. You warm enough? Nope, my fingers have gone numb. Well, I've got the heater on. I know, it's still cold though. Lizzie's cold because it's the 3rd of January 2019. We're making our first flight of the year together in the Eurostar from Manchester Barton to Russell Airfield in Lancashire. We're going to go up to Russell Field today where there's a microlight uh, instructor who's got a couple of uh, Euro Foxes. He's got a tailwheel Euro Fox and a tricycle one as well. And uh, fellow YouTuber plain old Ben's been flying them and I'm quite curious, so I thought we'd go up and say hello. By now I've spoken to Wharton Radar and we're receiving a basic service and I've been given permission to transit the mats. So time for a bit of acting. With my gloves later we could like do the <laughs> Alpha Papa thing. <laughs> snell, snell, do I do it now? Do I do it now? I do it now, I do it now. All right, okay. What do I have to say? Achtung! <laughs> Achtung! No, and you go, you go, um, no, good tag. Uh, Achtung! Good no, tag! No, no, <laughs> no. no. Say, right. I say Achtung, you say okay. good tag. Achtung! Good tag! <laughs> Silence! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh. Right, I'm just going to get to the right of all this film. That has stuff. genuinely kept me giggling for about the last 24 hours. Good, isn't it? So funny. If anyone who hasn't seen Alpha Papa, that won't make any sense at all. They just think we're being racist. Yeah, and of course Alpha Papa was the plane that I learned to fly in another Is year. It? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. Passed my GST in Alpha Papa. Ah. Now for the small matter of finding the airfield. That does look like an airfield to me. Oh, it does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, that, it is. that is definitely, definitely a is, runway. Yeah. I mean, even I think that's a rough way. Russell Field, Golf Course Ground first, final 2 0. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was a bumpy runway, but that was pretty good. That was a good landing, was well Oh well, welcome to Russell. Another new airfield in the logbook. Yep. Good. Hello, James, how are you? Nice to meet you. Happy New Year. <laughs> this is my wife, Lizzie. James Walker runs Attitude Air Sports here at Russell and teaches people to fly on a range of three-axis and flex-wing microlights. But it's his brand new Eurofox, Golf Charlie Kilo X-Ray Mike, that I'm especially keen to see. Well, hello and welcome to Rory On Air, special edition today because you're going to get to watch me doing my biannual flight review with an instructor here at Attitude Air Sports. James is going to take me up in this new Eurofox and I have to say she looks absolutely stunning. Very clean and shiny and I'm really looking forward to flying this new type of aircraft. Uh, it's a tricycle wheel undercarriage uh, Eurofox with a 100 horsepower engine and uh, as you can see the view out of this aircraft is absolutely top notch. Um, high wing but with uh, a roof panel and, and perspex at the back and big perspex doors uh, really, really good view. So I'm really looking forward to flying this. Uh, I've come here on my own today um, in Oscar Alpha, but I haven't bothered to film that trip because I came here at the beginning of the year to talk to James about doing this biannual 
with Lizzie and I thought you'd far rather watch me and Lizzie flying together than just me on my own. So that's what we've uh, seen on the way here and uh, I'll be flying back with Lizzie shortly as well. But first, join me on board as James gives me a good run around the park here to test out what I can do in the Eurofox. One of the conditions of the NPPL is that if you wish to carry passengers or fly anything with more than one seat, you have to log an hour's flying with an instructor every two years. I think it's a great opportunity to practice some manoeuvres I wouldn't do on my own and check that I haven't picked up any dangerous habits. James and I have briefed the plan over a coffee and we're ready to get started. Well, I normally start with a passenger safety briefing, which I'm going to circumvent because you're an instructor. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you're captain. Right. That's kind of the premise here. Yeah. Um, so, what would be your standard passenger brief? Well, I would normally ex make sure they know how to undo the seat belt. Cool. So, yeah. press the red button and make sure it's nice and tight for them. Yep. Um, air vents, I'd explain in case they feel a bit air sick. So, presumably, these, do we push them yeah. out or push, twist them? Yep, push it out and then twist. Right, okay, yep. cool. And we've also got two on the front there. Two on the front. Um, and they just, you just push them. Yeah, in just a bit. like do that. Oh, right. And you get air coming in there. Um, and we've got a cabin heat system, which is, again, is a vent. So, fire as well. Explain to them about the fact that if there is a fire in the air, the first thing we're going to do is try and land anywhere as quickly as possible and then get out of the aircraft. So, part of that is to explain how to open the door, cool. which in this case just turn and push, and then do the seat belt. Traffic lookout if you see any traffic, point to it. If you can say high or low or one o'clock or whatever, but just point to it, and that's a high priority over anything else that's going on. Cool. Sterile cockpit on takeoff and landing, particularly. So happily ask questions once we're up in the air. But once you know when we're doing the complicated bits on takeoff and particularly on landing, just sit tight and let me concentrate. Cool. And have you got any questions? No, that's lovely. After my passenger briefing, we run through the pre-start checks, which are broadly similar to what I'm used to in the Eurostar and C42 aircraft I fly regularly. However, the start procedure for the 100 horsepower engine is slightly different. Yeah, it is a cold start today, which yeah. has not run yet this morning, okay. so it'll be choke on. Bit of choke. Okay, and we're going to leave the mags off, yeah. okay, it's a bit of a, a weird thing, and you're going to spin it over and I'll introduce the mags. Okay. Okay, so just treat it as a normal start as far as you're concerned. Alright, clear prop. Okay, so control's full and free in the correct sense. We've sort of done that already, but I like to do it twice, just because it's so important. Yep. Yeah. And the trim tab, uh, I normally, when I pull back, I normally check the trim tab to make sure that that's working. So, so that's the one that looks like a T. Yeah. Okay. And you'll actually feel it work the elevator as well on this, if, yeah. if there's a decent bit of airplay yeah, in the I tail. Yeah, I can feel that. X-ray Mike has a couple of other features which are new to me. One is electronic flight instruments, and the other, flapperons, which combine the functions of flaps and ailerons. Flaps, one stage is so, what I'm used to. Yeah, so we don't have stages. So just have a feel of it, so it's the one with the ball on it. You just yep. look over your left shoulder as you draw it, or right shoulder, whatever's comfy for you. And you just get an idea of how much travel there is. Okay, so like right. I said, don't overthink it. Yep. All right. In terms of stages that we use, it, in theory it's half for takeoff on grass uh, and pull for landing. Um, because we're going to use the short runway, we're going to use just, just less than half, about a third of the travel on the flap. Okay. Try and do it by, you can either do it by looking at, and I tend to use the mass balance yeah, as my reference. So stick neutral and use the mass balance as a reference of where it is. And then just make sure you've got symmetry both sides on them as well. Does that look about right to you? Yep, looks good to me. Okay. I'm keen to share as much of the flight review with you as possible, so to save a bit of time, we'll skip the rest of the checks and move on to our pre-short field takeoff briefing. Beautiful, mate. Lovely. Very good. Ever taken off on anything this short before? No. Less than 260? Yeah. Okay. With a, with a hedge. Right. <laughs> but look at the wind, it's ideal, yeah. it's ideal for us today. Yeah. So do you use a line-up check or anything like that? Uh, I normally do no lights from the tower, primary reference point, I'm going to aim for the gap between that tree and the green building. Yep, seen. And nobody, you know, in our way to avoid. Okay. So in, ter ours. in terms of um, a short field takeoff, what's one of the things you, you, you need to be aware of? Uh, if we lose the engine, we've got less options in terms of runway continuing to land back on again. Yep, so an abort point might be a, a reference. Yeah. Yep, so if, for example, we're not off by such a point, we bring the aircraft to a stop in the remaining distance. Well, yeah. I think I think the intersection with the other runway would be a sensible position Indeed. for that. Yeah, and even then we're probably going to get... We're twigs. a bit tight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
So, yeah, at my, my land check is, is WAP, okay? So wind, what's it doing, how's it going to affect us? So it's right on the nose, it's a decent headwind. So we can anticipate by that that the aircraft's going to feel a little bit lighter on the nose, okay? And we're going to anticipate an earlier liftoff, potentially, than we would normally. Uh, abort point, we've just identified as, as halfway along, okay? Um, and P is for power, we'll check the full power visually once we apply it. So that goes all the way home. Yeah, and Quick. we should get 5,000. Yeah, it'll be just over, but as long as you see a five, we're good to go. We're winning. Um, and it's it's a still a case of sort of two, three, not a, not bang it home because yeah. we don't want to have that. So because we're going to employ a short field takeoff, what we're actually going to do is we're going to set the brake. Yeah. Okay. You're going to apply roughly three and a half to 4,000 RPM. You're then going to transition from the throttle, release the brake. Yeah. And be quite poignant about putting that brake away. Yeah. Hand on the throttle. And in that time, we should have got through the cavitation point and then just squeeze in that last Give the rest of it. Now, because it's a short field takeoff, what we're trying to do is maximise acceleration. So we're going to keep everything neutral. So stick neutral in this is about there. Okay. Okay. Keep it all neutral. And then once we start building energy, we can start to tease the nose off. Okay. Now, the nose is light in this. Okay. You're going to feel it quite light and even yeah. more so with that, with that headwind. All right. Okay. Just manage the attitude with stick. Um, 100 horsepower. So you are going to need some right pedal. Yeah. The main thing, mate, just fly like you normally fly. Keep okay. it straight and uh, and keep the picture happy. Okay. Right? If at any point I'm not happy, I will say I have control and obviously just relinquish. Yep, absolutely. Um, other than that, as far as I'm concerned, it's all yours. Happy? Okay, I'm happy. All right, so leave the brake on. Leave the brake on. Three Power and a half. about three and a half. Brake off. Turn it, that's it. And now squeeze the rest of the power in. A bit more right pedal. Start to tease the nose. Here comes the nose, lower it. Beautiful, lovely. Very nice, mate. Okay, positive rate, everything's looking good. So we're looking for about 65 on the climb out. Okay. That was nice, mate, well done. Thank you. She's lively, isn't she? Yeah, she <laughs> is lively. It's good though, really nice. One of the first things I notice about this aircraft coupled with the 100 horsepower engine is the need to be more active on the rudder. Well, you can feel that yaw as you take the power off, yep. that's the difference with that. So the aircraft is, is designed to fly in a straight line really at 100 knots. Yeah. So any variation on that will result in a little bit of dissymmetry if you like. So you may find that you need just a little bit of weight on the pedal just to keep it uh, in balance. It's windy. It is windy. And she does need more rudder effort than I'm used to. Yep, so she, she'll need a bit of help going around to the right as well, so you'll feel like you need to carry a bit of pedal into that right turn. Yeah. Um, again, it's a torque thing. I've got lazy in the Eurostar because you just don't need That's it. That's why I briefed it down there. <laughs> Everyone's the same. Even a C42 you can kind of get away with. Yeah. This, if you're gentle enough, you can get away with. It's the difference between being good and, and not really, you know? Yeah. Well, I've got to say, James, this is absolutely lovely. <laughs> I love this. The view's brilliant. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Um, um, she's really comfortable. She's smooth. Yeah. And very stable. I mean, it, hands off, she just wants to go for it. You know, considering we're doing 90 knots. Yeah. You do, I mean, once you start getting, you know, she'll cruise quite comfortably at 100, 105 knots. Yeah. Um, but you know you're doing that sort of speed, you know? Yeah. At the end of the day, it's still a fabric aircraft. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's not like a CT. Yeah. Or you're a star in that respect, you know. Um, well, I'm very impressed. Should we go up to two and a half if we're going to do a bit of uh, Sounds good. altitude so recovery? If we make a make a left, head back towards Walney Island over in the distance there. Okay. And then uh, yeah, we'll go up to two and a half. Uh, okay. I think we should be clear of cloud. Obviously, don't don't go through it. Yeah. Clear under the wing. Stand by for the Top Gun quote. Call the ball. Three quarter mile. Stop looking at the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it, I just wanted a reference. <laughs> yeah, with the 100 you get quite a lot of throw when, yeah. the, when the torque comes into effect. And then idle as well, um, you'll find that it'll want to swing. Yeah. Roger, Rory still hasn't quite got the hang of the ball. Alright, so we'll, we'll take a look at some advanced manoeuvres. Okay. So we'll start off with nose high, wings level, 
speed reducing. Okay. So yeah. what, what would be your go-to recovery from that? Nose high, wings level speed reducing, full power, lower the nose to the horizon or just below, let the airspeed build back up to where we would expect it to be and then start to climb away. Good. So what is the potential outcome of a nose high speed reducing situation? A stall. Good. So effectively it's a standard stall recovery. Yeah. So we don't need to demonstrate it because I'm sure you're more than capable. So if you follow me through on the controls, you have the throttle. Okay. And then we're just going to have a look at a nose high, wings level speed reducer. Okay. okay. So you hassle check. Is, yep. Hassle check is current. So when I say recover, you recover the aircraft. Okay. Recover. Airspeed building. And climb away. A bit of right foot. Yeah. Which I forgot about. Yeah, cool, <laughs> level off. So the rudder... Yeah, you've just identified the only issue that we had with that one was the rudder. Uh, and with 100, it can give us, as we've talked about, quite a big swing. Yeah. And at the point of stall, the last thing we want is it's any of that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, good. Lovely. Happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now what we'll look at then is a uh, nose high, wings on level, speed reducing. So what would be your recovery there? Again, full power to try and reduce the rate of losing air speed, lower the nose, then level the wings. Good man, cool. Right, so hassle check is still current. Yep. So follow me through, and when I say recover, you recover the aircraft. Okay. okay. Recover. Airspeed increasing. And positive rate of fire. Cool. Level off. Level off. The dangerous bit in that element is if someone then tries to correct a wing drop yeah. whilst the aircraft is out of balance, then we're starting to, to get a bit dicey. Lovely. That was fine. I didn't think I was going to need my sunnies, but you do better. <laughs> I, to be honest, I wear them from rain or shine, it's just habit, really. Okay, so this one's going to be nose low, wings unlevel, speed increasing. So what's the recovery? So power back to idle, level the wings, and then pull out of the dive. Ease out the dive, Yeah, is a better Ease. phrase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're not a spitfire. No. Um, okay, so follow me through on the controls. You have the throttle. Um, okay. Uh, when I say recover, you recover the aircraft. Okay. Yep. Recover. Nice. That's exactly what I was talking about on the last one. Yeah. And I put a bit and of too much rudder. But too much rudder. <laughs> At least I remembered it. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Good, that's lovely mate, level off. So that transition was exactly what I was talking about, that was really Just nice. Just keep it going yeah. until you don't lose any more height than you have to. I think it's a case of overthinking it, like if you think of it like the textbook, do this, then do that, do the other, you'll, you end up doing it mechanically, yeah. whereas you just want to feel it and go, all oh, right, well I want to come out of this. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, they're all fine, any questions on, on usual attitudes? No, I'm happy with that, it's good to do it again. Okay. One last thing I want to do with you is we're going to run through, um, I like to simulate a kind of washing machine scenario. Yeah. And when I say recover, I'd like you to recover from that attitude. Yeah. Okay, so whatever attitude you're presented with, recover from it. Okay. Okay? Yep. So we're going to update the hassle, but I'm going to do this one if that's okay, because yep. we're going to throw it out a little bit. Okay. So we're at 2.8, um, so we've got plenty of height to recover. Airframe is clean as required. Security arm strapped in, you're strapped in. No loose objects in the cockpit, everything in the back is stowed. Engine temperatures and pressures are all within limits. Location is good, we've got plenty of landing options. We are clear of cloud, clear of uh, airspace, and clear of any built areas. Look out, we'll, uh, we'll do a 360. Um, and security, you're strapped in? Yep. Okay. And we go, we'll have a good look. So, follow me through. And when I say recover, just recover from what you're presented with. Okay. Do not try and anticipate. Okay. Okay, because I will win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt you. Okay. So you just follow me through and you recover from what you see. Happy? Yep, happy. All right, okay. Recover. Yeah, good. Yeah. 
bit of right rudder. Yeah. And this is the difference between being a student and not, is you knew you were happy with the manoeuvre, so you're going to level off. Yeah. In my instructor mind, we need to see that recovery to full power, uh, into a full power climb. Yeah. So that's fine. OK. Good. All right, we're going to have a look at a forced landing now. OK. Um, we're going to make it easier for you in that we're going to identify a field together. Yeah. And we're going to use that field. Now we're actually going to use um, Brook Farm. OK. Which is just down on your left-hand side. Oh yeah, I've got See it. See it? Yeah. So we're going to use the southern runway, which is the one that runs on that field boundary. So that's going that way? Yeah. So you yeah. see the two of them like this? Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah, going yeah. to use the left-hand one. So yeah, the, the longer one. one. Yeah. So yeah. in theory now, what we're going to do is kind of on the, de the dead side, we're going yeah. to use a, a left-hand downwind base and final for that yeah. runway. Okay. Agreed? Yeah, agreed. But we're going to do it as a simulated force landing. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll just... Um, Identify, make sure there's nobody out, there's no other aircraft around. No. We are still anybody around. talking. Good, so let's simulate an engine failure. Okay. So. Alright, there's the engine gone cold. So we're going to look for uh, best glide speed, which in this is about 70. Um, so we've got that. We'll just retrim the aircraft. Uh, we've identified a field down there. So we're going to start making a turn to the left into that. I was keeping us at 70. Did you read the POH last night, did you? Uh, I did look at it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bit of a tailwind here. So the slope and size and shape of the field is good. We've got a little bit of a run-on option off to the right of that other green field there, should we need it. We're going to do a um, mayday call. So we'd say mayday, mayday, mayday. I don't even know what the call sign of this aircraft is. Where's your little taper thing with it Old written Charlie on? Charlie Kilo X-ray Mike. Old Charlie Kilo X-ray Mike. Engine failure, force landing, Brook Farm, 2 POB. Um, we're just keeping 70 there. And now we're onto the downwind leg and we're at about 1,000 feet, or just above, so we're going to try and aim for a high key point constant aspect now. Always oh, pulling out the big guns today. Uh, just remember that's Q&H, not Q&P. Yeah. And we try and restart the engine so we'd make sure the mags were on and the fuel is switched on. And we do a restart, the engine's still dead, so we continue with our approach plan. Still got 70. Reassure the passenger, don't worry, everything's going to be okay, I've never done this before. <laughs> I'm going to start making that turn now. Because we have got a bit of a headwind, I might have to uh, cook this slightly. Just relax. This feels so like this might be doable. Looking for about 55 on the approach. OK. So we're quite high here. So I'm just going to raise the nose slightly, have a bit of flaps, aiming for the middle of the field. Let's pull flaps now. Still quite high, so I'm going to slip a bit. Let's continue. Let's continue. Lovely. Go around. Positive rate. Flaps back to one stage. Or there or thereabouts. Climb is good. Right rudder. Stop messing about with that stick. Sorry? Stop messing about with that stick. What was all that about? <laughs> what, on the way down? No, on the way out. No, right. <laughs> that was awesome, mate. Perfect. Really nice. A bit high. I was... I was Hedging Betty. my bets on what, what she'd glide at. Yeah, very well. Um, yeah, about to be too high, you can always get rid of it on the yeah. floor, can't you, if you land a bit late? Yeah. So the only the only thing I'd pick up on there is your priority of your checks. Yeah. Um, is I'd, I'd do the engine restart check, reassure passenger, then May Day. Before the May Day. Okay, fine. And I did do tiffs at the end either. I should have killed it all. Yeah. So I don't have it come back to life when I'm just about to touch down. Cool. So I'll let you take us home. Nice. See, she just needs that little bit of encouragement to the right. Yeah. Now we're back at Rossell and James is going to put me through my paces for a few circuits. I'm slightly disappointed there aren't any sheep on the runway. That we can oh. scare off. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously it's going to be a crosswind landing. Yeah. Um, favoured 
uh, approach in this would be a, a crabbed approach transitioning to the wing down method, yeah. similar to the C42. Yeah. See what you can do. Okay. Daylight today, I'd be saying sort of 50 55 for your approach speed. Okay. Um, no more than that, really. Just watch the airspeed. Yeah. It's not as nose down as you're used to, okay? Yeah. About 55, yeah, for touchdown. Yeah, yeah. So you start just. Using get, it on. Get rid of that power now, just let it come down a little bit more. How is it idle? Yeah, just be patient. Looking good. Looking good. Don't try and put it down. <laughs> I have control. Very nice, mate. Well done. <laughs> good. First touch is okay, but it didn't quite settle. Yeah, you have control. I've got control. So we were just quite high energy, that was all. Yeah. So we'll try another one. A little bit slower on the final. No, you you passed. That's why you should just get going and going and going. No, but I mean I should be oh, a little sorry. bit slower next yes. time to have yeah. a little less energy carried into yep. the... Yeah. All right, make a right turn there. A little bit low. And just fly a circuit, really. So, um, whatever downwind checks you, you normally yes. use. Uh, for fuel is sufficient for go around. Altimeter is set. Wind is assessed as left hand crosswind. Traffic non visual. Hatches and harnesses are secure. Lovely. I've not heard that one before. Fourth. I quite like that. Well, I forgot to do it the first time because I was too busy trying to fly the plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things, it's just, a, it's just getting used to trying to do all different of course things it at is. once. Yeah. Hell of a drift angle, isn't it? <laughs> it is a hell of a drift angle. <laughs> just let her come down a bit, mate. Get rid of that power. Because we're just punching through gradient a little bit there. So, yeah. We just let her come Small down. Flaps. Yeah. You just hold the airspeed, she'll actually start to, to sink. Yeah. See the rate of descent coming in there? Yeah. Well, it's going to be a touch high. It's a bit buoyant, actually, today, isn't it? Yeah. You can slip it if you want. Yeah. Come on, be brave. There you go, that's the ticket. Just be patient. Still quite high here, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, go around. Awesome. For the conditions, mate, you're smashing it. Good, I have control. You've got it. Happy? Yeah, very happy, yeah. Cool. As James and I's time in the air approaches the hour marker, it's time for me to put her on deck for the final time. Just a little bit, not too much. And then stick into it, remember? Good. A little bit more. A little bit more power. Just reduce the angle of attack. There you go. Okay, now get rid of the power and hold it off. Don't let it land. Don't let it land. Be patient. Keep going. Keep going. Left wing down. Lovely, very good. I have the brake. You've got the brake. Nice. Cool. It's flat, isn't it? Yeah. It's a lot flatter than I think you're used to, which is why yeah. the speed was building up on the previous yeah. ones. Okay, I have control. And well, very nice landing gear. It felt really soft. As yeah. I was expecting it, that to be It can flatter. hide a multitude of sins, <laughs> to be honest. Very useful. <laughs> cool. That was good fun. That was great fun. I really enjoyed that. Good. Um, Nice to fly with you, and nice to try a new aircraft. I'm, I've got to say, I'm sold. <laughs> cool. Well, that was thoroughly enjoyable. I have to say I've been very lucky with instructors so far. Marcus and Chris at Main Air were brilliant doing my primary training on the Eurostar and C42. Tony at LAC went out of his way to help me get my lapel on the Cessna 152 before the April 2018 deadline and now I've had the pleasure of flying with James in his Eurofox. After we landed we had a short debrief and he signed my licence and logbook. Time now to strap on the Eurostar and head back to Barton. Yeah, thank you for coming with me. You're welcome. I was a little bit nervous about that because 
I thought the runway was quite short. It is. There's bloody loads of room. We we needed less than half of it. A third of it was enough. Well, I've noticed that about you. You're very cautious when you're landing. You always seem to go in a lot sooner than I think you really should. Well, you're probably right. I know I'm right. <laughs> You can't go wrong with a bit of flapjack. All right? Tired. Oh. Very tired. Thank you for watching. Of course, as always, I really appreciate your comments, shares, and likes here on YouTube. And don't forget, you can keep in touch with me on social media as well. Facebook.com forward slash Rory on air and at Rory Ausgary on Instagram and Twitter. You could actually go for a nap. <laughs>